Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> In India, most specifically in a place called Kerala, there is an individual, a filmmaker called Ali Akbar, Already, I, I, you know. who claims to have left Islam. He's had enough, mate. And listen to this, because it's very important, mate. All of you guys like which theological or which uh, discussion? Was it the contingency argument? Was it the ontological or was it the cosmological argument? Was it the design argument? Which one was it, mate? What could it be? You're overthinking it. It's none of them. He did it because trolls were posting smiling emojis. Sorry, 18 years later I, 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 can't, I can't change them I can't change myself so I'm living my religion yeah you had me smiling emojis after the death of India's chief of defense staff less hair from from this individual but in my religion I can only love my belief my God my my heaven and my I love my country. <laughs> now let's break this down. Why does a person follow Islam? When you believe there's none worthy of worship besides Allah and Muhammad peace be upon him is his messenger. You believe in the five pillars. You believe in the six articles of faith. But out of all of these principles, not one of them says that you predicate and rest the foundation of your faith on the actions of others or more specifically the social media comments of others. In fact no religion says that. And lo and behold if you were to find an exception anywhere on this planet it's gotta be Modi's India isn't it? And to think the newspapers of India saw this story and went you know what? Hang on a minute right here, this is the story that the nation needs to know about. My advice to you guys, use your resources for something more useful, like providing the nation with some toilet paper. A few points to consider. Number one, how does a few people posting a few emojis suddenly provide him with the relevant evidence of anthropomorphism, polytheism and reincarnation? It's clear it's an emotional reaction and not an academic or logical one. Number two, using trolls to leave Islam is quite ironic because the faith that he claims to have joined, Hinduism, has a very extreme group called the Hindutva and they're known as the king of trolls online. So let's face it, he's going to be jumping ship again very soon. Number three, if he leaves his entire faith because of a few emojis, Imagine what's going to happen when he gets a few comments. He'll probably end up leaving the species and end up living the rest of his days as a slug. What, what, pardon? Now let's look at this individual's logic. I, I'm not saying all Muslims are jihadists, but the jihadists, jihadists are Muslims. In case you didn't catch that, he said not all Muslims are jihadists, but all jihadists are Muslims. This logic has been long smashed. Let me just give one refutation. I'm not saying all men are rapists, but all rapists are men. Right, are, are you a rapist? Mm -hmm. Even if, if, if you... Uh, he cannot read! Or some drop of poison into water, what will happen? The end there, what will be? <sighs> Likewise. Again, another warped analogy. If you follow this analogy, you won't be able to live in any country on this planet because statistically we know every country has criminals. And this guy apparently has been spewing nonsense for time immemorial to be honest. I, th I think he was trying to join the BJP and then ended up leaving him. So when he admits that he's blocked on Facebook. Facebook blocked me. I think they are also controlling the Facebook. Allow it! Don't chat to me! You said what? They are also controlling the Facebook. You are on some joke tip! If you survived this long, look, Ali's story has not been a complete waste of time. That's right. We can salvage at least one good lesson that we can take. Namely, follow Islam 
not for the sake of your parents, for you know the person you're about to marry, for your friends, for the Imam or for the Sheikh. Oh, he speaks very nicely. Oh, what amazing lecturer. Or even for specific arguments. Nah, mate. Do it for the sake of Allah. And lastly, I would say update your knowledge regularly. A lot of us, we went to Madrasa, learned Qaeda, bit about Islam, and then we went into education, secondary school, GCSEs, and all that sort of stuff, and probably didn't get back to it. And now suddenly we're older, and people are asking all these questions, and we're having to reference our Madrasa knowledge. Come on, just like we update everything else, we update our phones, our computers, we update even our knowledge from primary to secondary to degree level. I mean, come on, you got to do a bit of that for Islam as well. Your madrasa knowledge is not going to kick it when people are questioning your faith with all sorts of things. Some people say <laughs> Islam's lost, mate. No, your understanding, your primary understanding from the madrasa days has been defeated. But whose fault is that? Not Islam's fault. <laughs> and inshallah, God willing, you uh, develop some sense. At the moment, it doesn't seem likely, but when the time's right. And you guys, the Muslims online, let's behave ourselves, yeah? Let's, let's relax. If we're claiming to have the truth, let's act like it. Let's leave it there until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.